Right, this is my heater. It, um, it decided to fail on me because I filled the tank with a mixture of red diesel and veg oil. And it's been going for about five years until I put veg oil in it. So looking at the exhaust, it's looking very gummy there. It won't fire up, all it does is smoke, lots of grey smoke, so obviously the inside is looking like that, the glow plug etc. So that's the next thing we're going to do, we're going to break this down now, take it apart, have a look. Found a problem. Um, it's broken up, so I need a new one, glow plug. There's the other end of it. Bit of a bummer. It was just uh, just resting in the hole with the rubber bung holding it there. You know, around the, when I took the rubber bung off, this has come apart. So I don't suppose that's actually fixable. Can you glue them back together? I'm not going to bother, but the thought was there, sort of thing. Um, Yeah, I need a new new glow plug. So who do I look for there? So managed to get this out, come out very easy. Literally put a socket on it and that is look surprisingly clean or does that need to look like that? So look what do you reckon? Is it right? Having never took one apart before, I don't know. I was just expecting this to be all gummed up, but obviously not. Or has something broken off the end? Um, well, I'm happy with the colour of that, to be honest. Still need a new one because it's broken. So I'm going to split this up now, just have a look inside the chamber. Because um, looking at the exhaust, there's a lot of shite coming out of that exhaust. That shouldn't look like that. So, plan is give all that a clean. So, we have it apart. The gasket has come out cleanly. In fact, nothing was actually done up very tight. Uh, looking in here, let's get it under a bit of light. There you go. Maybe I need to get a better torch, actually, to look in there. Let me go and get a torch. Hang on one sec. So, got a torch now. And you can see all of that inside there. Look, that's proper all gummed up. Well, gummy. So I'm wondering if I can actually just put that in my shot blaster. I'll scrape the worst out first of all, and then try it with a shot blaster because it's only a an alley casing, isn't it? So. No wonder the exhaust was all bunged up there. Look. So um, everything's looking very clean, apart from the blo broken glow plug, which I think was probably part of my problem. But this won't hurt with, to do with a, a good clean. Now inside there, you can't see it on the torch light, I don't think. But there is remnants of like wet fuel there, so it's not burnt. Um, does this thing come apart or does it unscrew or something so that I can get right in, you know, where the glow plug glows, it goes in there. Can I get into that bit? I was thinking of just sort of dipping it in the sink, giving it a scrub, that part. 
but this part shot blaster what do we reckon and so just one other thing how do you get the gauze out of there or you just rip it out put a new one in I mean looking at it on proper torchlight it don't look too bad and I reckon I can clean that up in situ but obviously it would be nice just to get it out but um, I can't see that coming out without it breaking so an update on the uh, heater I took apart because I filled it with veg oil which stopped it running basically but when I did take it apart there was a broken um, I think I showed it before this glow plug now the end had broken off if I could get that in focus come on anyway I glued it back in just to see if it would work and it didn't so I ordered some bits yeah I ordered some bits and um, oh, just threw that on the floor yeah I ordered some bits and took the whole thing apart decoked everything in it took everything apart cleaned it the gauze that was in it um, it looked quite intact it just looked a bit gummy so I sent this down it hang on if I turn it on I just sent a flame straight down to the gauze I thought well if it melts it melts if it don't it don't anyway that seemed to burn off a lot of gubbins like that was an unburnt fuel and everything else around where the gauze is and through the gauze and in the burn chamber so I thought well I'll leave it because in the kit there was a new gauze but I thought that looks clean enough you know shining a torch down the hole cleaning the gauze it looked fine I thought well it's no big deal if, it, if this thing doesn't fire up then I'll rip the gauze out and put a new one in it but anyway, the main part was, was that um, glow plug. And I'm wondering if that was partly the fault of it anyway, while running it on veg. But um, either way, it wouldn't fire up. All I had was loads and loads of smoke coming out of this exhaust. Before you all start shouting at me here yeah, for having an exhaust inside my garage here, yeah, I've got a door wide open that end, and down the other end there there's a door wide open. So and it's quite windy today as you all know. And um, I mean that's burning now, lovely and clear. Once it primed itself, I didn't do any priming, all the pipes are empty, but you can actually see that chucking it through the pipe there it literally just primed itself up with some fresh red diesel no veg oil in it and um, it just fired up literally and it's running a good one clean exhaust this is on full chat by the way and that is wow that's red hot and I've got this on let me have a look been running 14 minutes there as you can see yeah 5.5 and I'll just turn that down now and you should start hearing it running itself down I'll bring it right down so there you go can actually hear that that's slowing itself down really nicely I couldn't be more happy I actually give it a clean I mean the gubbins that was in it I'd spilled diesel all over it over the years I've had this about five years 
it's been in the back of my Land Rover, in my garage, up the garden, it's been mostly in my tent when I go camping, it's been all over the country with me, thrown about, kicked around, so I wasn't too surprised when it decided to pack up, but after a strip down and a clean out, everything's working lovely. And that's just shutting itself down there nice and slowly. Still no smoke. That obviously means the gauze is burning well and the fuel is burning well because everything else is clean inside. So, one happy chappy. But, big bit of advice, don't do veg oil.